I'm on now. Oh yeah, there's already a few there. Hey, good afternoon everybody. Welcome to today's live and before anybody says anything, no, it's not members, it's going to be a public one. Um, the reason for that was we thought we might have... It's still waiting for you. It's still waiting? Well, on that side? No, there, there. Has he forgotten to click the live button? It's not what I've got to do. Can you hear me then? Because Mrs P says she can't see me on her tablet over there. Before I go any further. Is it? Oh, it should be there. It says live, 33 seconds worth. Yeah. Oh, and, oh, there you are. Got me now? Mike Reed thinks it's funny. Um, so yeah, uh, public today, not members, and I will warn you now, it's probably going to be public next week as well, and the reason being is, I told you I would give you the final results as to what we've raised for air ambulance and uh, we were hoping to give you a big number and tell you how well we did last weekend hopefully most of you have seen the video that was put up last night so you know what happened if you didn't didn't come to our um little air ambulance charity thing you, at least You've you can have a look at <sighs> hello ethan um so sadly so far we don't have the results uh last time i looked we were on about. Was it? Oh, fourteen hundred and eighty-seven pounds on the online. So those of you that have clicked on the link and put some money in there, thank you very much indeed. We've done really well on that. Um, hopefully, we'll top over to fifteen hundred quid, maybe by the end of today. Somebody's um, asked who was in the bunny outfit, the Stig. Stig. <laughs> Never to be told. You can't say. Well, yeah, Zane, isn't it? It's a... Oh shh! No, it's a secret. Secret. It was um, the Easter Bunny. It was the Easter Bunny, as far as the kid is concerned. So, uh, yeah. Good afternoon, Farmers P and family from Durco. Hello, Mr P uh, from Lee Nichols. Evening all. Oh, evening. So it's late wherever you are then, sir. Got the jack in there. Ian, how are you? I'm very well, mate. Thank you very much indeed. We've had a nice day. I've actually had pretty no, much... No, it wasn't, Holly. What? Mike Reed. Oh, yeah, you didn't used to be on the radio. Mike Reed used to be on the radio, yeah. 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 Well, you said, was it Holly? What, in the bunny suit? Only she was wearing stilts. Was the grass? Has the grass? Yes. yes. We went out there this morning. Yeah, we were, we actually walked the uh, field this morning, oh, and um, you were all right. God, Mrs P is over there behind the camera. Brendan says hi from the states. Hi Brendan, and she's got my other tablet, and she's basically reading comments. So get the dog, says Lola. You can come and sit over here if you want. Ethan, my 19th birthday today. Happy birthday, Ethan. Happy birthday, Ethan. Are we, can I get a word in now? Do you want a, do you want a, do you want a microphone? <laughs> right. Um, so, no guest today. Dave the Builder, famous Dave, was here a second now, and he would have done. He didn't know I was doing live, but he had the dog in the car. I didn't want to leave the dog in the car, which is fair enough, and I think he was also frightened. He, he also came down to have a laugh at... Uh, um, someone's expense because someone spotted his daughter in the video, uh, Casto. Uh, good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon, Simon. So um, let's try and get some kind of continuity to this. So again, today's video is not a, a, a members one. It, it would have was would have been just members, but because of what went on last weekend, it's public, and because we haven't got the numbers yet. Yes, Robert, you're quite right. Um, it's going to be public again next weekend. So all you members go, oh, I thought it was a members only. I'm sorry, but because so many people were involved with the Air Ambulance Charity fundraiser, I think it's only fair to keep everybody in the loop straight away because it wasn't just members who came and helped us with that. It was it was kind of everybody. So Massive Mike says we've just met, finished drilling. Brilliant. <laughs> what was that? What's that? That must be barley. Spring barley, yeah. I'm glad you got it in, mate. It's blinking late. I mean, there's a few folks around here that have been ploughing and drilling like mad, but you've just got to get it in when you can. And there's, you know, I think a lot of, a lot of crops are going to be late or hungry this year. Uh, uh, peace and quiet with no girls. Uh, well, yes, I've got no daughters here, but I have got Mrs P over there. I saw that. She just said a really rude word to me. Uh, Wayne Guest says, good word. Uh, does, did Mr Fox reappear for the goose? No. I did say Massive Mike. <laughs> massive Mike? Uh, you missed that one. I said Massive Mike. Uh, Mike. Broker Prop Studios. Uh, Spider-Man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I remember that. Um, that, we don't, that was why this is going to be, this is a public um, live. 
I was hoping to tell you what was in the bucket. So the story is, it's maybe not long enough, um, they have one person in the air ambulance charitable thingy, one person who counts the bucket, who counts what's in there. And that person was away last week and they're not in until Tuesday, day after tomorrow. So the money in the bucket is still in the bucket, hasn't been counted yet. We won't know. I'm, I'm hoping we're going to know uh, this next week and I can tell you next Saturday, in which case then we can total the two together and I can tell you what we've earned. So since the event, a couple of people have actually... Richard <coughs> Smith has put in capitals, how is Holly liking the new cooking base? Well, she hasn't got in it yet. We'll come to that. Uh, where was I? Yes, a couple of... You're wittering. Get on with it. So a couple of people have actually given me some cash since, so I've got a bit more to put in, but we're hoping to visit the air ambulance station. Was it April the 16th, 17th? What? 17th, I'm going down. Hopefully I'm going to go down to the air ambulance. I'll take the camera. Um, um, it's the 11th, next Thursday. I thought it was 17th. No, it's the 11th. 11th. Oh, got that wrong then. Anyway, I'm hoping to visit the ambulance. So if I've got How's any... How's Jensen shares Holly's birthday? Oh, good. So I'll, if, if anybody's giving me some cash, I'll give it to them when I go down. I'll put it in the bucket down there. So, um, Nothing like a backseat driver. No, I yes. Like a backseat driver. Mm, drive you bloody mad, don't I? Uh, Sam, thank you, Sam. Uh, I got some gaffer. <laughs> hey, I don't have to be. I've got my music. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I'm keeping up better than you are. Uh, yeah, but I'm trying to... I'm trying to... Have you had blood tests from the castle? Yes, blood tests. Rick Smith again. How is Holly liking the cooking base with a triple... I just oh. said, I just said, He's I'll come to that. Yeah, and I said, I'll come to that in a minute. Angela Patience. Hi. hi, Angela. Have you got anything you want to be doing something else? No, no don't say. All right, okay, thank you. Um, the blood tests on the cattle all came back clear. So with no BVD, nothing nasty in there. So the, the squitty bums in there are still a little bit of a mystery. Although we did think that maybe because we made our forage, our silage and our hay early, literally most of it was cut in May and made in June, is so full of sugar, it might actually be a bit too good for them. Um, and I'm kind of hoping that's what it is. The grub is actually too good. And it's going... Trisha good. says hi. Hi, Tricia. Um, so yeah, so the blood tests are clear. Uh, that's the only thing we can think of with squitty oh. cattle. Um, I'm, I'm the ground out there is recovering I'm nicely. Recovering the um, the back most back. of the dirt has actually Mrs. washed Peak. into the ground. Mrs. Peak. Yeah, most of the dirt has washed there. into the ground. Yeah. And Mrs. Peak could make no, Mrs. Cream and coffee. She could. Thank you. And it's all going green again now. So there's no damage. Nothing. Nothing a roller won't fix within a few minutes. Shaking the gent. Come on, Farmer P. We all know Mrs. P is the, the main boss. Don't bloody encourage her. Look, you. Don't you dare do that. Uh, Funky Farmer went crazy when he got his... Yes, he did. He was very happy. He's a very happy chap to have that back. Simon but I'm not going to talk too much about Funky, Funky Farmer's tractor because that's his story. Pardon? Are you going to concrete the floor in the cow pen? Eventually, yes, hopefully, yeah. Um, Christopher Green, Mrs. P is lovely. I am. Don't, don't encourage her. So this could end up really being a really short live today because I'm just not getting a word in edgeways. I'm keeping up with that. Don't thank you for that here. Uh, Mrs. P needs to come on with you. Yeah, she does, but she won't. Shy. It's not shy in, in that bit. It's just, you know, shy. Uh, have a snicker, Mrs. P. You're not... <laughs> I'm afraid it's me that eats the Snickers. I'm rather fond of Snickers. So, how are Mrs. P's nails? I think they're the same as last week, aren't they? Same as last yeah. Week. Uh, Mrs. P is worse than Mary. Yeah, but Mrs. P doesn't let me scratch her bum. Leave Mum P alone. No, I shan't. It's her leave. Uh, who's the boss with Mrs. P's nails? Looks like uh, Mrs. P. You should listen to the music. I am. She is. She's got her headphones in, so she's in there listening to Absolute Eight is, but she's got the screen on, and so she's reading your comments. And then telling me before I've even had a chat. Can Mrs. P wear the bunny outfit? Mm, that sounds quite interesting. Absolutely not. How about if I wear the bunny outfit? <laughs> As I know then. I watch out for that ball flying back at you. Yeah, probably. Uh, hi, Kevin. Hi, Simon. What year is this Sunday on Absolute 80s? What year is it on? I think I'm 1980. She thinks it's 1980. Uh, Laura says she hopes you're well. 
mean, Alan oh, keeps saying to be piped down. Alan, does he? Good man. How many people actually visited the farm? We never, we never actually counted. We think, we've, we talk, spoke to a lot of people and we think that it's around about 500 people total throughout the day. So we don't think there was more than 250, 300 here at any one time. But we think during the actual event, there were about 500 people. So they were like, if everybody put a pound in the bucket, we did all right. So uh, absolute 80s farmer peas age. That's right. Uh, did you get any more fur on? No, we've only done that one field so far because it's been so blimmin' wet. I mean, it has dried up now. We might get some on this week. I'll see if Eddie's available, but maybe put some on this week. But the grass here is it's being sluggish to get going. So we might have to give it a bit of extra to get it going. Uh, did I recover from last weekend? I was recovered by Tuesday. So Sunday I was knackered. Monday I was tired. Tuesday I was tired. Are planning for September? Have I found out what the leader are planning for September? Kind of. Yes. Yeah. So I think that I think what they want to do, they want to, I think they want to do some kind of similar type of event. Would you say with Macmillan this time? It'll be a Macmillan event and it'll be the same time and it's going to be a kids treasure um, hunt. All right. So the idea, did you get that? So similar sort of thing, but instead of being an Easter egg hunt, it would be a kid's treasure hunt and they're going to try and dress Zainab as a pirate. Is that what you said? Yeah. Dress Zainab as a pirate? Yeah. He's well, going to be Captain Twat Sparrow, Sparrow or something and then, then he can go around and um, scare the kids as a pirate. Uh, I, I don't know. So, so yeah, so, so maybe sometime in September, watch this space, weather permitting and everything else going wrong, then um, hopefully we can raise a few quid for Macmillan as well on a very similar thing and I'm hoping it's drier and we can get people parked in here and hopefully September touch wood will be will be to wait, wait I was mid sent oh, I heard that hopefully we'll be TB free and some of the cattle will be over the farm will have a bit of space here um, um, and we're going to get cars off the. I, I want to keep cars off the common. I don't want people parking at their fucking outfit. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we would like to have car parking down here, and then we'll maybe just do the whole golf course. Biscuits found a squeaky toy. What have you got? Right, so oh, the Abby, badger. Abby's just starting her training, and Samantha has her training. Bring it, bring it, bring it. No, go get it. Bring it here. No, not that. That the badger. Please, could you send my husband a signed autograph? Dear God. Have you seen this? A signed, what, what, what is an, a signed autograph? It's the same thing, yeah. So, um, uh, you send me a stamp. You, a you, you send me a stamp self-addressed envelope with a request or something in it and I'll send it back. So. <laughs> no, not everything. Yeah, no, not everything. <laughs> I reckon we'll send her, a, send her a heyday 2022. Mr. P needs sheep. No, he doesn't, Scott. No, no, he doesn't need sheep. Uh, when is Mary going to car be born and do you still have your come, come would you know for this one? So Mary's always been pretty good. I don't expect her to be calf proud at all. She's I would like to think she's gonna calf within the next ten days, but she looked like she was starting to bag up a little bit yesterday. That could be it, something like that. Okay, uh, uh, you're our family are keeping well. We are well, thank you, Danny, thank you. Where's Biscuit? She's here. Psst. Uh, 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 psst. No, come here. They want to say hello. Come here. There's Biscuit. What Biscuit wants is her ball, isn't it? Now she's happy. Hi, Noah. Welcome, welcome, so, um, yeah, there's kind of, as far as the farm's concerned, there's very little to tell you. It's been wet. We've not done anything on the land because we can't get out there. It's been the same old routine, muck out, feed and, and bedding in. Hi, from sunny Florida. Will you fucking off? Language. She just, she just wants to play. Biscuit a hug. Absolutely not I'm not giving Biscuit a hug because she's just going to go grrr at me. Nope. Um, no what's that? Biscuit enough. That's where it's been. How about <laughs> getting some pigs? Getting some pigs. No, pigs don't. Pigs, pigs don't like wet. They like dry. Uh, do you scratch Mrs. P? Lo no, I don't. No. Tried it once. Ended up with a fat lip. So, no. Uh, hi. From Windy yeah, Bedfordshire. It's windy here yeah. as well, actually. Mrs. P's new channel, Farmer P behind the scenes. Dear God, if they only saw you. Who said that? Overlanding Wolf. 
uh, look, if you want to do that, you carry on. Go on, give Biscuit a hug. We love it when Biscuit growls. Yeah, she did. What was the final amount of race? We don't know, Daniel. Um, the um, online was 1,480 something, you said? 1487. 1487 on the online, so which you can still do. Uh, we don't know what's in the bucket yet because they haven't counted it. So I was... Noah's going to send us a gift. Is it going to be an ark? I'm hoping the worst <laughs> of the rain's gone, though. All is well, thank you, Paul, yes. As well as it can be in a windy, grey day. At least it's not raining, so... Uh, this, is, this is much harder when I haven't got someone sat next to me to bounce off. Hopefully loads of money. Yeah, we're hoping we've made a, a packet full of money. We know we've made £1,487. We know that. And I would like to think we've got at least £500 in the bucket. So if we can make two grand for the air ambulance, brilliant. So. Hi, I'm from Guildford in Surrey. My dad, big fan. Hello, Susan C. Hello, Susan's dad. What age is Biscuit? She looks very young. It's just because she takes out for her boss. Uh, well, I'm 59 this year, and she was my 50th birthday present, so work that back. That you didn't want? I didn't want it at the time, no. Uh, oh, so it's got it. So it's £1,492 online now, so <coughs> but I will hand it to you in person if I can. So it's not an arc, then? No, not an arc. It would be a very small arc <laughs> if it is. Arc. Yeah, a pig arc. Uh, any chance of getting my dad on live? He probably... Uh, what did air ambulance, did you need it once? No. Air, air ambulance because I'm an ex-biker and I'm a farmer. And those are two folks that regularly, for, for the wrong reasons, need help for air ambulance. As far as getting dad on live, he would struggle. He, he wouldn't be able to keep up with the messages coming through. We'd literally just have to um, interpret everything for him because he can't keep up. And, and he might the occasional naughty word might slip out, and we have kids watching this. So, love dad to bits. But if he gets frustrated, I mean he is eighty three. If he gets frustrated, then he gets frustrated. So, Veronica, no, I, Veronica. I, I think Veronica should stay in the box. Uh, I'm going to try and set a thing up for a corner. Good for you, mate. I mean anybody in the country, if you've got an opportunity to do something good for a local charity, whether it's a little local one for your town or something like that, air ambulance, then go for it. I would encourage anybody to um, to do their bit. So, uh, will you have a small garden for Holly's kitchen? Uh, we will have a small area outside our cabin because we've got to find a way of keeping it clean. Because obviously our yard isn't the cleanest thing, so we've got to create something that she, as she goes in and out of her cabin, we don't have dirty feet going in and out. So um, we have we have ideas and plans for that. How about a sofa chin wag with Michael, as in Michael, my brother, or Michael, my son-in-law? Uh, Angela, you're both 15 this year as well. Yeah, see, got something. Anything naughty? Do any of these kids know any of the naughty words these days? Oh yeah, yeah, they learned it way before I did. Everyone gets frustrated. That is true. I get very, very frustrated. Don't I, dear? With what? Well, all sorts of things. Life. Yeah, their life. Yeah. So, is it a no farmer pea zone? Yeah, definitely with, with um, I could open the door and put my head around, but I can't go in there with um, dirty boots. So, any more biscuit toys? Yes, we've got a load more biscuit toys. And mugs. And mugs. And the, and the caps. Guys. And yeah, we got asked lots of questions with people saying, well, are you going to do more merchandise? So, I have got some more mugs. We have got some caps. So I'm going to pick them up this week and other bits and bobs. And if you want anything like that, just go on to Farmer Peace Pantry and Holly's, for the time being, Holly's dealing with that. Mum P is in the middle of creating a web page, and hopefully we can just do it for a web page then. Sorry, we're. Okay. Uh, can you get both Daves on, please? Well, I could do, maybe. I think I think famous Dave would be dangerous, getting him on here. He knows far too many things about me, whereas Dave, other Dave, doesn't. So, yeah, Biscuit is more famous. Still got any sheep cap on? <laughs> Are you getting a new skid steer or a new tractor? No. No. Uh, finances will not permit it. So the farm doesn't earn enough. As much as I would love to, um, we've got other things like barn roofs and animal welfare have got to come before a new tractor. Uh, Philip Edwards, how much was raised? We don't know yet, Philip. We're waiting for the count in the bucket. That's why today's video is a public one and not um, a private, uh, sorry, private uh, member's one so we can keep folks up together with what's going on. We don't know the final figure. 
uh, I've had to have air ambulance twice. I was younger in primary school. Well, Daniel is dear to tell the tale, so obviously they did a good job. How is Martin? Martin is good. Yeah, Martin is good. Yeah, Famous Dave is great. He is. No, he's not. He's very naughty, though, and he and I tend to get a bit carried away. So we might have to, um, if, we, if Famous Dave comes and does a video, we might have to censor it. We might have to make it over 18s or something, you know. Make a Farmer P toy. That sounds a bit weird, that does. One where you can put pins in. Yeah, do you know what? I, was, I knew you were going to say that. Because you're out, like, putting pins in it. So, so we know he's going to go for you. Alive with Michael, your brother. That would be awesome. No, it wouldn't. Oh, Oliver. I know Oliver Twist isn't your real name, but thank you very much. Thank you again on behalf of Holly. That's very generous of you. Um, and I'm sure she put it to good use. Um, paying thank you back. Th Paying you back. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> yeah. Well, we've got the, so we've got the electrics in Holly's kitchen. So there's a bit of video on that. In fact, I'm just about to start editing that later on. So the spark has been in. The electrics are in. Dave and I have put the concrete pads down at the bottom end of the cabin so we can level it up and shim it up and down if the grain moves. And then the next job on that is going to be digging the holes for the drains and the water to go in. And once that's done, famous Dave is a lead. Don't go to his head. Dave doesn't want to be famous, does he? He doesn't want public recognition. So make sure you pat him on the back and go, hello, famous Dave, when you see him. He loves it. He, lo he does it. Uh, Dave would be fun to listen to. Dave... No. Yeah, we would probably have to be quite careful with that because that would get out of hand quickly. Dre, uh, yeah. Hi, Ian. Chris says hi. For some reason, he can't post messages on his phone. We are both watching from both ends of the living room. That's a bit sad. Uh, Adrian, do you talk to each other? Like, my daughters have done this, and, and you know, they've been on the phones, They're literally in the same room, texting each other. Yeah, but that's only so we don't have to let you know what we're talking about. Oh, yes, yeah, to keep it secret from Dad. <laughs> So, um, yes, well, I'm oh, sorry, who was that? Who wanted to say hello? Um, Ian, Chris says hi. Hello, Chris. Chris Matthews. Angela, we'll ha have a seating area. We're looking to put a seating area out there for the members' day, outside of Pitkin. Oh, for Holly's Kitchen? Yeah. Yeah, so I think for the members' day, I think we're looking at Holly's, instead of having the barbecue like we usually do, I think Holly's going to actually do everything down, down there, and we'll put, like, a marquee outside our kitchen, and then you guys can go and sit in my front yard. I mean, how special is that? <laughs> oh, we didn't have spoiling, do we? They can sit in my front yard. Fantastic. Could be worse. Could be worse, yeah. Could be sat up your backyard. Martin is doing well, thank you. <coughs> you might be able to put them up your back patio. The next live should have some guests, Veronica and Dave. Well, I invited Dave today, but he couldn't. And Veronica, I probably... Uh, can you do a video of your brother's farm? No. Mm, it's not mine, it's his. No. And... Smells, smells of chickens, yeah. No, it smells a lot worse than chickens. Well, it is chickens, though, isn't it? That's what it is, just chickens. Uh, yeah, that's... I'm very, very wary of... of it's, that's Michael's place. If he wants to do a video, yes, then... Veronica and Save, I think they mean Dave. Dave, also yeah. Correct. Yeah, not at the same time, though. Uh, lucky with a new cedar table. Well, you never know. I mean, at the end of the day, I could put two bells of straw out there and a slab of cedar on top, and you could have a cedar table. Who's that? Gordon Batterson says your videos are great. He's obviously not watched a lot. Thank you, Gordon. Don't take any notice of her. Uh, have a good... I have to go and watch football. That's uh, far more far more important football. Yeah, you carry on, Scott. Can I do a live with Richard? Yes, I will do a live with Richard sometime, and I'll probably do it from his house rather than him come here, um, just for a change of scenery, because you've seen that tree, which, by the way, is going to be going soon. We've made the decision. It's got to go. Yeah, he's got it's ash right. No, the ash outside your mum's window. She was there worrying about green stuff. On. Green stuff's called ivy. Okay. Um, where's Abby? Abby, she's, it, she's in Erreford. Abby's in Erreford on a course. She's doing her SQP, isn't she? Yeah. Suitably qualified person. Uh, right, Jim. Uh, hi, Emma. Emma's not here. Uh, or is, no, different Emma. Sorry. Um, or is Emma, or is it my, or Emma? Can you lock Mrs. P up in the goose shed? Oh, it is Emma. Ella, sorry I couldn't be there. Mikey had to visit his dad in hospital. Yeah, Mikey's dad is very poorly, so... Uh, Who just said that? Oh, Emma. Or Emma, yeah. 
Will you plant another tree to replace that one? Yes, probably field maple, I expect. Uh, Ever you missed. Yeah. Okay, Holly is still doing scotch eggs. Yes, actually, I gave a couple of her scotch eggs to the funky farmer today. Put the box on the table, opened the lid. Jack came in. It was like magic, it was. And the scotch eggs disappeared. Gone. Well, one of them, anyway. So like Richard opened the box, and Jack's hand was like, come in like that. Gone. So, and the sausage roll, I think, so. Emma Pullen, I know I am. Yeah, I know you are as well. Mm. So, you could have been sat here, like Emma, so. Did you get the fox? No, I didn't get the fox. No. Should yeah, you, that should, you should, yeah, you should do mugs with pictures of the four girls on them. Yeah, that's a bit odd, isn't it? Me selling mugs with pictures of my daughters on, don't you think that would be a bit, bit There's odd? There's other parts of your daughters we tried to sell, but they went off their own way, didn't they? Are you going on doing a tractor run? Maybe. Who knows? Uh, possibly. Yeah. Uh, well, I could do it on Dad's old uh, six. Pardon? It's 81. 81. Oh, 1981. Oh, sorry. Absolute eight today is 1981. Have you ever been to a shooting range of your gun? No, not a licensed shooting range, no. I have. When I did my... We um, uh, did do a shooting range. We took ever. And Abby didn't want to do it. Oh, yeah, that was shotguns. That was different, yeah. <laughs> I, the only time I'd been to a shooting range when I did my DSC-1, which is my deer stalking certificate. I had to go on a shooting range then, and I had to put three bullets in a, about that big with a three oh eight. If Emma's watching, which was, to tell the story about Emma not getting a certificate or a medal that everybody else <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Emma got a bit... Um, Nasty. Yeah, well, she's got a bit competitive, didn't she? She, she did. thought she was going to beat everybody and, yeah. and then came last. So, what tattoos do I have? You talking to me? I only have one tattoo. Uh, is, yeah, Mark, hopefully we've raised the £2,000. That's kind of the figure we're looking uh, I'm on the committee for the Cornish Tractor Club and our name charity is going to... Uh, hopefully well, we'll, we'll make a few thousand pounds. Well money. done, Robert. Yes. So... Uh, Oliver Twist. It's not Oliver. I keep saying. I keep thinking of Oliver Twist as a bloke, but it's not. It's actually a lady, isn't it? So, is it Anne. Come is on. Mrs. P getting a new kitchen? Yes. Yes. It might be a bit at a time. It might not be all in one go, as we as we can afford it. Because. The sink will be good. Pardon? The sink will be good. Well, we've got to knock hold of the wall I first, haven't exactly. we? So yeah. And so. Pull in. I was wearing the wrong thing for it. Uh. <laughs> the shooting. I'm after school to show you what we done. I saw that lander. So, all right, Linda, thank you. So uh, was that, so was um, Abby then, and she beat you. Yeah. Okay. Can I do a live with Mrs. P? Yeah. Well, I am. I am doing a live with Mrs. P. I'm here, but she's over there because she won't come in front of the camera. Yeah. What tattoo do you have? I have. I have one. And it's that one. Okay. This is a, a calligraphy J. All right. So it's a bit of barbed wire. It's tatty, really. It's a bit of barbed wire, which is the agricultural side of it, and the J for Julie and John and Jean. and Jean, because the three most important people in my life before my kids all began with J. So, Jesus. lies and yeah, deceit. <laughs> <laughs> Use my older high tensile stock net. Uh, sheep, high tensile. Don't bother with uh, mild steel, for especially with sheep. Because sheep get itchy and they'll start scratching their backs on your stock fence and they'll stretch it and it's just ruined. So I wouldn't even consider mild steel stock fence for sheep. Um, I know it's more expensive, but yeah, high tensile, definitely. And posts close enough. You know, every two. Nice to... tattoo, daughter has some too. Hello. Yeah, my daughters have a couple, don't they? I'm a big, oh yeah, oh, someone's a big saucy. Uh, did, did Emma go on stage? Well, it wasn't really a stage. Emma did sing. Unfortunately, if you've watched the video, you'll realise that I put either the wrong microphone on or the receiver turned. Something happened and I didn't record the sound. So Emma did sing, but I didn't do it. I had to put a bit of sound tracker. So I'm, I'm sorry about that. That was, um, yeah, I cocked that up, didn't I? Again. I'm good at that. So. <sighs> They've gone quiet. Did you think farmers should... Start repairing damage caused to roads which is caused by oversized farm machinery. I don't know. Ask the same for all the transport companies with their great big lorries. Do you think they should be paying more as well? You know, with the great big oversized lorries. Sorry? Yeah. 
Next event, do you know where it's going to remind you to check your mic? Yeah, well, I try to remember to check my mic. Okay, I'm going through the jack fencing video. You're welcome, Raymond, so. Uh, Shaky defence, as uh, Emma did an amazing job on the edge there. Well, a lot of them did, because we had a few neighbours coming out that. We got a couple of folks who live literally next door. Um, yeah, so we had lots of volunteers. So we had Dave and Mikey on the car park duties. We had uh, Claire and her daughter, what's her daughter's name? Ruby. Ruby, helping with the East Red Oak for the kids. Um, Holly was bad flat out with her pies. She literally sold out of pies. I think she had six pies left at the end of the day. Uh, give love to Mikey. Mikey's dad out. Okay. Uh, sure, sure, she owes your viewers a tune live. Well, maybe you should do it in September if we're doing that. Uh, will we make a new video with Millie? Um, I'm, again, cautious with videos with small kids because YouTube get really twitchy about that. So if I say there's small children in the video, I've got to tell them. And then they got to look at it and go, oh, yeah, well, is he a wrong one or something? But, um, yeah. Uh, the Steel Band there, I should have sung some of the Boney song, Bone M songs. Look, no farmers, no food. That's right. Yeah. Every morning you get up and what's one of the first things you do after you brush your teeth, you come downstairs and have your breakfast. And if it wasn't for a farmer... You wouldn't have any breakfast, and your kids would have no breakfast, and your mum and dad would have no breakfast. Don't you give me that blinking face. It's flipping true. And then you'd have no supper and no dinner in between. So, yeah, thank you, Farmer. Is there a video for tonight? Yes, there is. Yeah. No, no, people people should think more about their farmers and thank them for what they've got on their plate. Or the fact that thank you for a lot of things. He's giving me a hard time. Uh... Right, that's shut them all up. They've gone quiet now. Scare them all off. Oh, he's got his soapbox again. All right, I'll just talk with you. Did your dad go to the event? No, he didn't. Uh, Ian, please try to stay alive. Well, I'll, I'll try. Yeah, I'll, I'll try and stay alive. So I've got a I whisker there. I love the there. videos on that T7. I keep watching over and over. I think the case 125 really suits you. The case was one that two. Mrs. P playing the small violin, yeah. Yes, it was. Yes. One Mrs. of your gifts is my my bees make their honey. You, you have got one, and I know know the gift is Mrs. P. Right. Okay. Well, that was I read that quicker than you did it. So uh, there's a cat up the tree. I very very much doubt that. You oh, won't, yeah. you won't find many cats around here because the dogs will have them. So did I get the fox? No, I didn't get the fox. There was no fox. Oh, I'll say no more. We don't talk about it. No, we're not yeah. talking about it. We don't talk about Bruno. It, who? There's a film this one. Oh. Ed needs to start selling cow bread. Okay. Uh, can you give lessons on roller skating? Not rain here because we've only got grass. <coughs> we need a video of Mrs. P on the skid steer. No, we don't. I like my barn where it is. Thank you very much indeed. You've got a video of me on, the, on Donald. That's bad enough. Yeah, on Donald. You're right, Surasen. The public do need to be educated because, uh, and I'll get on my soapbox again, because the vast majority of people never see past the supermarket shelf. And so long as the supermarket shelf is full, they don't give a thought about where it comes from, how far it's travelled, how it's been treated, how it's been looked after, how it's been processed, nothing. It's just a case of, is it on the shelf? Is it cheap? I'll have it. And that's it. That's as much as they think is so. Is Mrs. P always in trouble? I'm never in trouble. She's never in trouble. No. So. I have yet to be caught. I think a green M5 John Deere would be a little fine tractor for the farm. Yeah, it probably oh. would. Uh, do you think the young ones on bottom of Fort Tower is funny? Yes, I do. Yeah, Adam I do. And Adam and the Ants, which one? Kings of the World Frontier. Kings of the World Frontier, okay. Uh, yes, thank you. Well, I'm glad that you're grateful for uh, farmers. I keep saying Oliver is not your name, is it? Because the dog's name, Oliver Twister. Just causes trouble. That's what women do. Uh, don't know, I think I'd do okay feeding a grown my own. That's all right, mate, but the thing is, you've got to think of a year in advance, haven't you? I mean, if you want to feed yourself next year, you've got to plant it this year. Or last year and this year. So it's not just the case of if the super, supermarkets are empty tomorrow, you can't just go out and grow it. You know, it's you need the time of year and weather and pest control, weed control, 
fungal control, all that sort of stuff, and no one, no one ever thinks that. Uh, uh, yeah. Trisha Future's got it right. What's that? What she say? He always wins. Yeah, she does usually. Yeah. That's just because she's got a better memory than me. Dad's doing well, thank you, Phil. Uh, James says, uh, Mrs. P, hi, although she can read that herself. Um, right, anything else I need to tell you on the farm? Grass is growing not fast enough. It's growing really, really fast on my lawn and not fast enough in the field. How do you get away with music on my videos? Okay, music on my videos. Hello, Pete the Scrapper is... I bought a lifetime subscription to audio music. So all the music on my videos I take from my audio account. All right, so if I want a new piece of music, I go on to audio, I put in the genre of what I want. I want sort of, if I want it fast, I want a kind of type, type of music. And I go in there, they give me loads to choose from. I listen to stuff and I find one I like. I download it, download the license. And then if anybody comes up and says, oh, you haven't got a license for music, I go, here's the license. Right, so I think I'm being ganged up a little bit. What I'm going to do with the space, I will probably fill it with some more rubbish. Thank you, Paul. Uh, when do you buy Mrs. When you buy Mrs. P's new kitchen? When I can afford it? Uh, I could take after Tesco's. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Tesco's. Do you know what? I mean, I can't fault Tesco's or the supermarkets. They came up with a brilliant idea. It's a brilliant plan. And they've got everybody brainwashed into that's what they should do. And it's convenience. That's all it is. They, they are selling you time, not just products. They're selling you time because you go there and you can do everything in one shop. You go to a free car park. They give you a trolley to carry it all in. It's nice and easy to go through. Nice and cheap as far as you're concerned. They're still making 25% profit. Don't you worry. Um, they're really happy. You're happy. And that's it. Why would you need to look past the back of the shop shelf? But you should. Why didn't we have any drone for the day? Why didn't we have... Well, I was kind of busy. Um, and there are certain laws that involve flying drones around lots of people. And there were quite a few people around here. And it was just... just I just decided not to. Just to leave the drone there. So I'd rather concentrate on going around and talking to folks, which I did a lot of. I'm good at talking. Hello, Dickie2237, two, two, sir. I think Casto's being cheeky about growing his own. Casto's right? always being cheeky. Don't, don't worry about that. He, but Casto, Casto's been here. We've met. We know each other. I, I know exactly what he looks like and everything. I even know his first name. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How much did you make on total on Saturday? We don't know, Pete. We're, we, we know what's in the... Um, Online. STV test, 7th of May. We know what's on the online, which is just shy of 1,500 quid. Uh, we don't know what's in the bucket. We're waiting for them to uh, count it. Did you get your blood results back from the cattle? Yes, and they are all... Yes, mate, you're cheeky. And they were all clear. So no infection, no BVD, nothing nasty. Everything came back clear. Oliver Twist, my next visit to my family in Kent. I would love to come and say hello to everyone. You'd be welcome. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Hi from a very long word in Canada. Oh, was it? Where was that then? Nathan. Sasquatchin. Nathan. Sasqu Sasquatchin. Hello I think that's Boston. Boston, USA. We've got family over there. Is that Boston, USA or Boston, yeah. UK? USA. Uh, hello to everybody all around the world. I know we have folks from all over the world come in. So 497. Oh, no, I'm going to do it again. 497 people on there. 500 people on there and only 198 if you have bothered to do that. I mean, I know it's a rubbish one today because I'm just jabbering on, but you could at least do that a little yes, bit. Yes, we're having a heyday, Dickie. Pardon? Dickie2237, two, two, are we having a heyday? Yes, we are having a heyday, yes. Uh, air ambulance in Northern costs about $7,000 a day. Hello, yes. Ian. Sorry I'm late. Didn't finish work. 4.15. Did I miss anything? Absolutely God, You not. missed so much, Rosie. So much has gone on. That you've missed, you'll just have to go back and replay it. So, no, not really. Mrs. P has some cake from my girlfriend and is cooking for some for Mrs. P. Hey, thank you, Mike, for clicking the like. That's very kind of you. A few others have as well. Uh, how many years are you doing the tree business? We started the tree business November the 9th, 1989. So, and I've done this before, so that was a very, very special day in history. 
So can anybody else out there remember what happened on November the 9th, 1989? Um, I think most of the world would care, actually, because it made a difference worldwide. So, yeah, what happened November the 9th, 1989? Are you going to do the 60-day camping again? That's the plan. Uh, so, yes, we're going to try and do that. Uh, James, sorry I missed the live last week. Berlin Wall, you're quite right. Yeah, so, yeah, we started the business the day the Berlin Wall came down. Pardon? Castor was four years old. Was he? Oh, bless him. Yeah. Uh, wall falls down. Yeah, the wall came down. It was. It was a really, really big day, and it was the day we just kind of decided we would, we'd been tickling and just sort of doing bits and bobs for a couple of months before then. But that came down, and it was kind of the catalyst that made the decision. Do you know what? I'm going to give up my job. I'm going to, uh, I was tarmacking at the time, wasn't I? William P. Who is parked in your shed at the back of the yard? I've seen different makes of vans in there. So that's a mate of mine, actually one of my ex-employees, who one of my first employees, actually. And he wanted to go off on his own and do his own thing, and we, we let him have a bit of space down here. So, yeah, nice lad, young Richard. Can I give a shout-out? Who too, James? Yeah, you love your that. Uh, how's the fields? The fields are actually drying up quite well today. We, it's been really windy. Um, and we've had sort of 18, 17, 18 degrees C temperature, and it's been windy, Where and it is joining. Biscuit, joined the... she sat by the door doing a whole. <laughs> oh yeah, biscuit sat over there by the door. Keep up the good work, thank you. All right. <laughs> I read it before Ian, you. Do, Ian, do you have a thought of the day? A thought of the day. Uh, <laughs> is that like Jess's thought of the day, or Jess's fashion, fashion thing of the day? This week I'll be mostly wearing corduroys or something. Thought of the day, if I was going to do anything, it's a case of, you know, look after yourselves and look after others. Take care of folks. Yeah, you try to work in a month. Hopefully try to work in less than Are a month. Are you pleased with yours and everyone's efforts on for the Easter event? Well, yes. we'd like to say that Ian let us down a smidge, but, you know, he could work harder. And I'm reflecting... Uh, can you actually hear her in the background? <laughs> Chuntering on. Yes, we're really, really... Like I said before, either on the last week's live, and I think I said it in the video... When are the shorts coming out? Very soon, mate. Um, we hosted the event, but at, uh, at the end of the day, so many other people got involved. The Bar Brothers got involved. Uh, what was the kitchen? I think it's Country Kitchen. Let his Country Let's Kitchen. Country kitchen. kitchen. So that and lots of other people came in and got involved, and they came in and they helped us, and they put money in the pot. So although we hosted it, I can't take all the credit for... Can't take any of it. Well, I can take a bit. What, if you smiled? Yeah, I smiled at people a lot. I know, we did appreciate that. No, you you know, I gave Holly some moral encouragement. I had to put up her gazebo in between well, laughing at her. Did you do anything? I did, I was here. I was, look, I was really busy. I was busy. So, yes, so grateful thanks to everybody who got Where involved. The white balaclava. I was... The white balaclava, yeah. So that somebody sent me, it might even be the chap on there, has sent me a pair of white banner clamors to replace the thing that I had on the passenger seat in the van. Mrs. P has hidden them, and what she does occasionally is she sneaks up on me wearing one and then sticks her tongue in my ear or something, wearing a white banner clamor, just so she can hear me squeal like a girl. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, so, so at the moment, Mrs. P has got the white banner clamors. <coughs> that was wind. Uh, yeah, um, and she, yeah, she likes to startle me with them. That's the polite version. Mm. Vivian, it's not supposed to be clear. What's clear? Listen to me. All right. It's probably just as well you can't hear what she said because she swore badly once over there. You cussed a dog. Um, my peach was on charge. Okay. Who came the furthest distance to see you at Easter? Uh, quite a few people came hundreds of miles. Yeah. Uh, some folks actually stayed in local B and B's and hotels around here. Uh, I have. <laughs> Thank you, Noah. Um, uh, yeah. So some people travelled, and we had a couple on a motorcycle. Um, they travelled ninety miles to come and see us. Did I sell this? No. No, we haven't sold the pickup. We still have that. Uh, Emma Mason. Hello, Emma. I'm glad it went well so well. You should have come, Emma. Oh, I suppose you were busy. No. It was hard work drinking tea. <laughs> That's typical James, that, isn't it? It was, mate. Look, I was just showing everybody else that you could Can have a cup of tea. Give a shout out to Mrs. P. 
Please, could you give me a shout out, please, Ian? Julie? <laughs> <laughs> she does, really. Um, yes, you did hear a four-letter word from Mrs. P earlier, yes. And it wasn't it wasn't the W-R-O-R-K one either, so... Uh, if I'm being broken, I was going to come to watch. And my arm was broken. Oh, yeah, you did, didn't you? I'm sorry about that. Well, September, maybe. You can come and say hello to Mum and Dad up the road and then come down and say hello. How is Julie's mum's doing? Yeah, she's all right. Still alive. Yeah, still alive. <laughs> Julie's decided that her mum is never, ever, ever, she's going to outlive all of us. She's a time lord. Eh? Hey, 5H1T, we've got plenty of that down there. We've got a great big pile of it. Greetings and, from East Yorkshire. Hello, Andy. Uh, has mum, P, needed to put money in your swear box? Never. No. No, she, Mrs. P doesn't. She's not a swearer. She's not a cusser, really. So, no. Only if I... Um, uh, okay, just as much. Okay, thank you, Oliver Twist. Uh, how did how many times did I hide in the barns? Mrs. P, give a shout out to to Mr. P. Ian. Thank you, dear. Triangle. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I only hid. A, I only went and hid a couple of times. Well, I did have go and have a wander down the fields just because it got a bit overwhelming for a minute. Um, and then I came back up and I was okay then, so, yeah. Marion's phone was on charge. I don't know what that means. Marion's phone was on charge. I saw what she's going Mrs. P, stop stressing. Quite right. I'm not stressing. <sighs> Any work on Holly's kitchen? Yes. Oh, so God. there's videos to come up on that. So you're, there's a video of um, that involves, Hi, involves a bit... Mrs. P, you're an amazing person. She's not. Okay. There's a bit of video of the Sparky doing his electric electricery, and there's also a bit of video of me and Dave doing the uh, concrete in, although I did make a cock up with that video as well. I thought I was turning the camera on. In fact, I was turning it off. So I had quite a lot of pocket footage from that one. So <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't gone into edit that. So I don't Noah know what passed his driving test yesterday. Noah, uh, congratulations, Noah. Well done. Uh, someday Mrs. P might be beside you when I do a live chat. She might be, but she'll still be sat over there or over there where you can't see her. Do you see the trouble I have? So, evening in family. Hello, Singamur one one two. Uh, all from the island. There's a flag there. The yeah, flag? look, I can't see what the flag is. Oh no, I... it's a running man. Oh, oh, I think that's Island Man, is it? Uh, ben Craswell, how much did you raise? We don't know oh, yet, Ben. Oh. We don't know. That's why today's video is not a members only. It is live. We told everybody in last week's oh, live that we would yeah, tell you. Lynn, one. I think I've got one left, but if you want it, you need to grab it quicker. They'll be gone. So, yeah, we had somebody cancel. They had two packs, but they can't have them. So I've already sold one of them because that was reserved. And I'm not actually sure if the second one might be gone. There, there, might be, there might be one beef pack, but if you want it, you have to be really quick. Have you found out exactly what's being planned for the next event? If your paranoia was kicking in correctly down the golf course? My paranoia was definitely kicking in correctly. My sixth sense was I knew something was going on. Especially when our sound man, Jason, <laughs> all right, Jason, rang me up and said, have they told you yet? And I was like, have they told me what, what's happening in September? I knew something, and it's like, yeah, they're up to something. No, Hi, Edward. Nancy. Hi, no, Nancy. No, Edward, I was not on Chrome Watch. You ought to be on Chrome Watch. Finally, sunny in the southeast. Well, good. We could all do with some sunshine. God, everybody must be suffering with, is it called sad? Is it sad when you lack of sunshine? It's a syndrome, isn't it? It's actually a condition. I think it's. It so. is, but you're looking really stupid. Okay. Uh, you've been watching me from day one. That's a blinking long time ago, that is, Noah. Uh, you've only been past your driving test. You're 17. You must have been well, you great. might not be 17. You might be older. Uh, seasonal affective disorder. Yes. Emma, mate. See, Emma knew what I was talking about. See, she. Thank you, Emma. Har had flood warnings this week. Oh, God. You've had it quite bad at this one, haven't you? So I think you had it worse than us last night because there were storm warnings around Scotland and Ireland uh, last night. Oh, but Linda's we got off quite a... nearly dead. She has to go now. Oh, sorry, Linda. Sorry, Linda. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Noah, he's 21, not 17. So, uh, got a storm on and off bad winds. Yeah. Yeah, 21. I've got that, Noah. What a... <coughs> so, um, yeah, if it stays dry, within the next what, 10 days, we would actually do some tractor work. We've got a lot of slitting and raking to do and then um, rolling. So, uh, oh, hi. vitamin D. Yeah, over that as well. 
Where's Piddly Squat Survey of the Day? Survey of the Day. It was Didn't quite understand it. It was used a lot. Yeah. And I will, and I will say, some, some of you gentlemen can't aim. No. Yeah. We had to go in there and have a clean-up afterwards because some of you can't point at me what you've got a problem. Can't you hold it or something? Have you or Mrs P ever milked a cow? No, but Emma's milked a dog. I was built a cow by hand, but never on a, in a parlour. Uh, can Mrs P drive the tractor? She can. Uh, let Mrs P be the... the what was that? Oh, yes. Hot and sunny in Sussex. Mike Reed survived. Not quite. Very next week it says in the app, go goody. Uh, Noah's still looking for a job. So if anybody's got a job for Noah, there he is, go get him. Well, turning around in the yard, he did. Can you build arcs? No. No, well, I could blow up an inner tube, but that's near enough, sir. Hello, Beth Stower from Michigan in the US, the Mitten State. Mitten. Is that mittens as in for your hands? Called not a sign, stand closer, it's not as big as you think. I like that. Need a sign, stand closer, it's not as big as you think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, or bloody put your own. Let me know. I mean, some of you, really honestly, take control of yourselves, gentlemen. Blame me. So, go, go, have to go and scrub the floor. Uh, obviously, the ladies don't do things out there now. Sooty's going. Ta da, Sooty. Bye. I wonder if he was one of the culprits. What, Sooty? Yeah. Probably the <laughs> Yeah, overlanding. What job is he looking for? I don't know. You'll have to ask him. Bad storms over in Ireland last night. Yeah, I heard it was bad over there. We were expecting it. I even turned our glass table upside down, expecting bad wind. Nothing really. Uh, Scott, my nails are the same as last week. Maybe you didn't see you last week. Do you want to stick your hand in front of the camera? Can you be asked to get up? No, I didn't think you could. She's comfy. It's spanned our ballet at the moment. That's quite right. If you can't aim, sit down. So, or go in the bloody hedge outside. If you can't aim it, just go and point it in the hedge. Right, what is, so send your email to... What is the member's farmer P email address? I've got the perfect sign for Pity Scott. We've actually got... Oh, for inside Pity Scott. Yeah. Bradley Farm Events is the best email. Bradley Farm, Bradley Farm Events at gmail dot com. Oh, uh, am I going to keep going with the tree business? Yes, because I've been doing it for thirty three years. What did you say? Bad manners. Bad manners. Which one? I think it's Lorraine Rain. Lorraine. Well, you'd know if it was Lorraine Rain. Uh, floods are bad along the M five southbound. Yeah. Oh. It is. Is it? Oh. She came round and I slapped her. <laughs> you could go in it. I've not been able to go out and look at the interpreter as a volunteer. I don't want to make myself look. Oh, okay. Right, okay. Um, so, right, how long have we been going? We've been going 52, 52 minutes already. I mean, I've had 52 minutes of drivel. How have you put up with 52 minutes of absolute flipping drivel? So, I'm off to have my tea before watching tonight's video. She's not got prostate cancer. Oh. I didn't see that. Well, I'm very pleased to hear that. Uh, when does Mrs. P get a new office? Mrs. P has got a new office. And it's decorated and it's all sorted out because I did that this week. Because it's nice. Okay, Emma, you, I've lost the concept of what that was. So I'm glad whatever it is, nice is nice. Uh, we live the lives. Okay, I'm going to dark room later. Okay. That's some very troubled people on here, you know. Mrs. P's over there singing to herself. Uh, you and Mrs. P are funny. Hmm. Peculiar? Yeah, funny peculiar, that's definitely her. Have we put the clocks up yet? No. Because uh, the problem is with putting your... I could put the clocks up, but it means I've got to take other clocks that other folks are giving me down. So uh, they will. I'm going to find a home for them, but I just haven't yet. The content is awesome. You, um, all, uh, that you spell A-W-F-U-L-L. No, because it's just one L. Oh, is it? Oh, is that my disconnect? <laughs> yeah. Awful. I've never had a wee on the floor. I was too busy for my condition. Uh, right. Sue, so we will you ever see the mysterious mother in law? Oh well she's a, she's in some of the old videos. She's she's been you know, when we were building the um I think she actually sat in the shell when we were building it, didn't she? What? Imagine the leader of the Daleks and that was That's not very nice. Uh, Holly is fine, but she's not here. She's off doing other things. Uh, so, Shaky the Gent has sent an email to Bradley Farm Events. There you go. 
there. Thank you. Uh, the Mrs. P will. I don't have access to that email, so Mrs. We're P. Make you have access. I'm I, not to so it. anybody who sends an email to any of the Bradley Farmer Farm P accounts, just as long as you're aware, I have one account, which is my own personal account. Everything goes to Mrs. P, and she filters it and ah. and sends me the stuff that. I'm not allowed to touch certain accounts, though. I'm all right. So, uh, and then she sends me through the stuff that, um, did Simon finish milling the cedar? No. No, we, uh, we, he'll come back and do that when he feels like it. I think that's one of those things you've got to take a big, deep breath. Working off a steak pie. Oh, did you have a steak pie, did you, Abby? Yeah, hopefully that's all right. So, um, I gave a couple to um, Mr. Cornock today. Oh, here we go, here we go. Up a bit. There you go. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> How am I getting on with the Gitmins? Yeah, I'm all right. Definitely. When you start wearing shorts, can you let us know where Mrs. B's horse? Look at her legs. I'm not, I know I'm not telling her that. So. I don't pull hairs out of you. No, actually, Mrs. P does very, very rarely pull any hairs out of me. That's no. Abby's thing, and she always goes for these year. So, and not that I'm encouraging anybody to do this to anybody because it really hurts. If you pull that one just in there, that really, really hurts. Cheeky blowing. Uh, so, yeah. Don't. I never punch your love handles either. I haven't got love handles. I'm like no, a, I'm like a Greek on. god under this T-shirt. You haven't got love handles. You've got, like, carrier bags, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> It's just no. As you as you age together and spend all these years together, you just you just abuse each other, don't you, darling? Hedge. Uh, was that, that hay? Hay. Hygiene. Okay. Has she got any fingers that ring on? No. no. That's why I call her Mr. T. Sometimes. Is Mrs. P. the boss? Yes. When I feel like letting her, yes. So yes. Sort of David Anderson. Just yes. I didn't personally. Yeah, yeah. No, nobody gave me any any. Nobody spoke to me or anything like that. But apparently, some of the people um, did, but nothing to me. So not brave enough. <sighs> right. Overlanding Come. wolf, uh, six pack is chilling in the fridge. Best place. Uh, Mrs. P is a real boss. Only when I let her. Uh, about time you, Mrs. P, traded you in for a younger model. That's quite right. I probably would not pass MOT now. Uh, built like a Greek god. That's right, yes. Or Buddha, as my wife would say. <laughs> <coughs> do you like your trax tractors or do you tractors? Both. Um, but if I wanted to work something and sit in it all day, oh, I'd rather have a new one. He met you. Um, him and his son met you. Who? Declan Donovan at the ploughing. All right, okay, Declan. I, if I saw your face, I'd probably recognise you, so... Yeah, I enjoyed the plan. It was a really good, uh, really good day there. So, yes, we have sat in the USA. Very little sun, lots of rain, sleet and snow, like the old times. Yeah, I do QR code. No, the QR code is not on my truck. Although, uh, the old web page, um, the porn site that nicked it, gave it up, and then one of my subscribers bought the uh, um, site and told me and said, "Oh, if you want it." show and I can have it back and I completely forgot all about it and now I can't remember who it was so if you're one of those if you're the person who bought the old um, treemanagement.info remind me please and then yeah we'll do something about that so yeah I'd forgotten all about it so yeah Ian wax your chest why oh. I'm not waxing my chest What's in, uh... no cheeky monkey we've got weasel coffee that's a weasel coffee yeah, yeah. Yeah, so uh, a subscriber who lives in uh, Vietnam, the Baird, uh, bought me some coffee last year, and uh, including a box of weasel coffee. And then um, I'm going to try that with farmer, um, Funky Farmer. So uh, the wife's always the boss, no matter what we say in public. Mm, she, mm, when I feel like it. Showing me a finger. Uh, well, Angela wants to know if you've got any madness on there. No, not madness. Not oh, no, I have had madness. She has had it. Uh, I've had madness. Yeah. I'm really 
Amy. Amy, do you mean the army? I doubt you'd be doing it for Amy. If it's Amy, then yeah, me and Amy, me and Amy, as in Amy Rosestone, we don't get on very well because they don't pay their bills. Waxing really hurts your chest. Well, serves you right for doing it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it. So that's just vanity for us. I think I can't be honest. I'll shave my chin. That's because it's tidy. But I wouldn't wax anything. Bye, Casto. Is he off? Cheers, Casto. Have a nice one, mate. Uh, right. That's one subscriber lost. Right. This message is held for review. What did you do? I don't know. Maybe somebody called me a rude name. Yeah. What was the or orange peel elephant trying to call about? That's just an old joke, that is. It is. We've, you can peel an we, orange in one without breaking it. Yeah, peel an orange in one without breaking it. And the easiest thing is to make an elephant's trunk or something similar. So, yeah. You can go round and round spiral, but it's easier to just do... Uh, James Chorley, Mr. P is the boss. Look at your pink toe, isn't it? Yeah. Take care, from people. I wish you the best next week. Thank you, Kevin. Nice to see you. Right, we've been on an hour or so. Can't wait to watch a video vlog with a lovely hot cup of tea and a bar of chocolate. Mm. I just spent an hour looking for my glasses around the house before my wife got home. I asked her and she pointed to my head. Old age catching up with me. Mm. Oh, and I bet she's really ripped you a new one. Yeah, for that one. Yeah, yeah. Right, I'm going to go and get some water. Thank you. 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 Okay, there is very, very little more to really talk about today. Uh, the lives are okay, and if you want me to keep on doing them, I will. Uh, Where do you get the canes with the number nine hooks that you use on Christmas? You can actually get them on Amazon. If you go on my Amazon influencer thing underneath, um, so on my, on my videos there's a description box, so there's an Amazon shop in there. They told me to do it. I did it. I think I earned something like a penny. And you can go on there and you can buy them on there. But you can go on Amazon. It's just, uh, I think they're called New Zealand Gate Chains. So if you just uh, Google New Zealand, I think it's New Zealand Gate Chains. Um, and then, but you, there are gate chains again. Some of them are cheap and nasty, mind. So don't go with the cheap and nasty ones. If you, if you go, especially cattle, you get what you pay for. Rosie Lang wants to know, are you doing later lives in the summer? Yes, probably, yes, probably. Yes, doing the lives. We like your lives. Or yeah. Time, love lives. I thought so, so she was going. He said he was going, didn't he? He fibbed. So, right. Mike, Mike said. So, yeah. Um, yeah, if you want me to carry on doing the lives, I will. Next week's will be a public one again. And that's simply because. Oliver thank you, Oliver Twist. Thank you. You're very welcome. Um, and that's because I want to, as soon as I've got the figures, the numbers for what we've grazed total for the air ambulance. I want to tell everybody, and because everybody, not just members, are involved, everybody's involved in that, I'll make that a public Apparently video as well. You, the reason he's asked is because he's just like the ones we use here in the New Zealand. They probably are universal. Right, okay. Don, yeah. Williams has gone, wasn't he a singer, Don Williams? Don Williams was a singer, yeah. 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 He's still in here, though. All right, now I've completely, look, completely lost me again there. So, um, where was I? I forgot what I was doing anyway. Uh, yeah, so if you enjoy the lives, I'll carry on doing them. Next week's will be public. The one after that will probably be just a members only. Uh, and then that one we'll probably talk about heyday, I expect. So, and we'll try and give you a heads up on what Hi, we're Joanna. thinking of doing that. So, yeah, thank you, Joanna. So, no, all stay safe and strong. Uh, strong. Hi, Hi from Torbay. All right, Howard. Watch it, it's pre-recorded. Yeah. <laughs> right. I'm, I had a text from, I had a text back. I expect you did. Same as yours. All right, Sharon. Okay, thank you. I know a lot of people enjoy it. I mean, there is 485 still there, so you must we must have nothing better to do. So, so. thank you. Uh, listening to Why me, Carol. Right. right, i got to go. i really got to go. So thank you very much indeed for everybody for joining us. I'm going to go and maybe cut the grass yes. while it's not raining. That means Mrs. P can have whatever she wants. Oh, Kim Wilde. Kids Kim Wild, which ki Kids what? Kids in America. Kids in America, Kim Wilde. Switch this off, go online, go on to the absolute 80s, and you can listen to what Mrs. P's listening to. All right, all right, folks. I will see you, uh, well, I'll see you at six o'clock in an hour, but that'll be from last Sunday or something like that, and then I'll see you next weekend. All right, take care. Bye, all. <laughs>